how to lift weights with intensity. So just got to the gym and I'm continuing from my last video. I'm gonna start documenting my workouts because I love this routine I'm doing right now. I started this around 12 days ago, about two weeks ago, and I started doing full body two days a week and that's when I started documenting it. And I'm making gains every time, so it's a lot of fun. It's a very simple routine. You can do it a couple of different ways. How I started it was full body twice a week. I was doing one set per exercise, super intense. And now I just did a split. So I'm working out Monday and Tuesday. I'm doing cardio on Wednesday. And then I'm working out Thursday and Friday, cardio on Saturday, Sunday off. And it's a total of full body twice a week. So I just split the routine Monday to Tuesday and Thursday to Friday. So today I'm going to be doing my pull move. I'm gonna be doing legs and I'm gonna be doing biceps. It's five sets total, not five sets per move or anything like that. It's five sets total. I'm gonna to be doing a pull, which I'll be doing pull ups. If you can't do pull ups, you can do a lat pull down. I'll be doing legs. I'll be doing three different leg movements to get my legs fully. And I'll be doing a bicep movement. It's super intense. This is how to train intense right here. And may, I'm, it's super simple to track because it's only one set per move. And if I get above a certain amount of reps, I'm just upping the weight the next time. I'm upping it. I'm upping the weight by the least possible increment. So if it's like a five pound increment, I'll do five pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, whatever. Um, if I get above, so it depends on the set that I'm doing will vary depending on if I get above a certain amount of reps, I'll increase the weight. So I'll show you, I'm actually gonna document it. I'm gonna bring it in there, my camera. Last time they, they booted me, they said I couldn't uh, video. So I'm gonna, hopefully I'll be on the down low and um, they won't notice. But I'm gonna start off with the pull, pull ups. I'm gonna do um, some legs and then the biceps. So it's super intense. It's one set per exercise again. And I do full reps until I can't do full reps anymore. Then I'll do partials and I'll literally do partials until I can't even move the damn weight. And then when I can't move the weight, I'll just like hold it. I'll hold it. So it's like super intense and fun. But of course, I'll only count the full reps for how many reps I'm doing. And I'll, I'll be taking, since I'm only doing five sets and it's super intense, I take like a few minutes in between each set. I may take like three, four, five minutes, you know, maybe four or five minutes in between each set. So I have some recovery time. So here is going to be my workout today. My first move was one set of pull-ups. Now, if you can't do pull-ups, you just start with the lat pull-down. I added 20 pounds, because when I started doing this a couple weeks ago, I had 10 pounds, I got over 15 reps. Went to 12 and a half pounds, got over 15 reps. Went to 15 pounds, got over 15 reps. So now I'm trying to get over 15 reps with 20 pounds and uh, squeezing out everything there. And when I can't do any more, actually got the 16 right here got the 16 there it is i think that was it 16 nope yep that was 16 so i i did like 16 and a half and then i dropped the weight and then i tried to do another one can only do about a half i still had a little more got another one do about a half this is intense training right here look at this and i'm just trying to hang and i let up losing my grip for the leg press, here's the machine I've been doing for the last while. Now, here I'm going 360 pounds and I'm trying to break 20 reps. On the leg press, I bump the weight up every time I break 20. So last time I did the workout a few days ago, I did 340 pounds. I hit like 22 reps. So now I'm doing 360 pounds. I added, that's it's an increment of 20 on this machine and I'm trying to again break the 20 reps. Give an everything I have here and you're going to see when I run out of gas I'll try and do some partials so I'm just pumping it and as far as the speed you're just pumping the weight it's not you know super slow movements I'm not banging the weights I'm just it's nice and controlled but a good speed to where I'm just like pumping that weight so there we go I know I ended up hitting like 23 not sure I'm at there yep couldn't do anymore I'm pushing I was pushing pushing couldn't do anymore then after I rested a few minutes I'm moving on to the bicep curls and just use dumbbells. I just use dumbbells for this. I got 35 pounds in each hand. 
I started out with 30s. I got over 12 reps per side, so I moved to 35s. And I was doing 12 reps per side. Um, I ended up hitting 12 reps per side the last time. So now I'm trying to get more than 12 reps per side. If I get more than 12 reps per side, then I will bump the weight up the next time. So this is getting hard right here. I end up hitting 12 reps per side. I can't, I can't do any more than that. So now I'm now here, I'm doing some partials. These are just partials. I'm pushing as hard as I can. And then that's about it. Then after another few minutes of rest, I came to leg curls and I'm currently at 130 pounds. It's done in increments of 10. And for this one, I'm going to bump up the weight once I get more than 20 reps. I had started 110 pounds, I hit over 20, got 120 pounds, hit over 20, now 130 pounds. The last time I did 130 pounds, I had 18, so I'm going for at least 19 on this set right here. And I end up hitting 19, I mean, honestly, the last rep that I did, the 19th one, it was about 90%, so I'll probably just go for 19 again next time, but it was definitely a little improvement over the 18 I did last time. And then when I get to the very end, I'm just like pushing, pushing, pushing. That was the 19 in there. I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. I can't do any more. Pushing, pushing. So they're burning it out, just doing some little partials right at the end. So that was good. Then for the final exercise, this is the fifth and final set of the day. It was calf raises. And on this machine, this is the leg press machine, but I also use it for calf raises. The last time I did it, I hit 320 pounds and I got like 23 reps or something like that. So for the calf raises, I'm bumping the weight every time I hit more than 20 reps on this one. So ended up doing, I think like 25 or yeah, 25 reps with 340 pounds because I bumped it up from 320 pounds from last time. And so that means the next time I do the weight, do this machine, I'll bump up the weight even more. And that was all I had. So just coming home from the gym. Oh my gosh, amazing workout. I don't see anyone pushing with the intensity that I, that I do. So I'm just really enjoying it. And I'm gonna touch on something else, else now as far as diet and fasting and things like that. So I always work out fasted, I highly recommend it. There's a lot of health benefits to intermittent fasting. And I usually do my workout around 11 a.m., sometimes noon, and I break my fast around one or two. Make sure I drink plenty of uh, water throughout the morning, stay nice and hydrated, then do my workout. It's a nice uh, break from work and then head back and eat. So I usually eat between like 1 p.m., finish eating around six or seven. So I'm fasting like 18, 19 hours a day. And when I do my workout, I'm about 16 hours fasted. So there's a lot of health benefits. If you're trying to lose fat and build muscle, it's good for that and I uh, just can't recommend intermittent fasting enough. So there's that, and then my diet is uh, plant-based. So over the last 10 plus years, I think 95% of my calories have been from plant-based foods, and um, that's another thing I do. So regardless of diet or you know what your situation is, whether you're you know overweight, whether you're trying to build muscle, um, whether you're old, young, man or woman, this routine is really good because you can track it. It's super easy to track. You can see your progress each time. And wow, that sun is getting me right there. So I recommend this routine, trying it out. Tomorrow's video, I'm gonna show you um, the other half of the full body workout. Since I, like I said, I used to do full body twice a week. Now I do a split to where that's basically half the workout. And then tomorrow, which is Friday, um, I'll do the other half of the workout. And then Saturday, I'm gonna do cardio, which I'm running right now. Sunday, I'll take off. And then Monday and Tuesday, I'll repeat. And then Wednesday is gonna be a run. Thursday, Friday, the workout. And then just keep going over in that, in that order until I wanna feel like changing, need to change something up. So right now, it's about 1230. And I'm just headed back from the gym and I'm gonna get cleaned up, get back to work. And I'll show you what I'll be eating today, today as well. There it is, not bad for 44. Then about 1 p.m. I broke my fast, started with a big bowl of grapes, and then right after the grapes, I had this huge oatmeal, and it looks kinda weird and nasty, but it's super tasty. It's a couple servings of steel-cut oats. I have blueberries, an apple, I have ground flax seeds, I have cacao powder, cinnamon, uh, about a handful of walnuts, and some almond milk. 
Super delicious, nice and filling. So that's my first meal. And then I'm gonna eat one more meal later on today. At 6 p.m. went to dinner, started off with a half of a pretzel as an appetizer. Then had a big green salad with squash and a bunch of goodies in it and a hummus platter. It had carrots, cucumbers, and pita bread with a lot of real good hummus. So thanks for watching. Make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.